fish on. That's definitely on that dropper because I had a real like a madman to catch up with him. Oh yeah. Well that feels like it. It's another little rainbow like Wes's. That's cool. Oh he's on the plastic. Oh yeah. Here he comes. Woo! Now see there guys, the dropper paid off. Here we go guys. Nice little, you know, Folsom Lake rainbow. That fish was probably planted, you know, back in the cold months. You can see his tail there it's starting to regrow. Um, nice thing about these big reservoirs is this fish is dialed into the food chain. He's out here feeding on minnows, and tonight I'm going to be feeding on him because I'm going to fry him up for dinner. But uh, anyway, out here, imitate the bait fish, catch the trout. Cool thing about Folsom is there's a lot of these guys around, but there's also a lot of three to four or five pound rainbows around. So. You never know what's going to happen on your next bite. And uh, they fight pretty darn hard. I'm going to show you how I'm rigged up and how I got that fish on that, that trolley rig or dropper rig, as some guys call it. Um, it's pretty simple. It's a fun way to go. It doubles your chances of hooking up. So let me get into that. Let's film it. But let me show you what I'm using. I've got the standard trolling rig here on my rod. You know, bead trolling swivel like you've seen me use a bunch of times. 10-pound fluorocarbon leader down to my copper pinhead spoon that's working down deep and then i'm running this rig right here what did i do with it? it's right here i've got that soft plastic trigger minnow right there a couple uh, bobber stops up above it they slid up a little bit i was running about a half inch off the nose of the bait i've got an action disc on there this is what's giving it the action and the vibration okay this is also 10 pound test fluorocarbon leader but on the top of the leader, I have a snap swivel right there. Now what I'm gonna do, and uh, we'll film it when I do it, I'm gonna drop that spoon down to about 30 feet. Then I'm gonna take that snap swivel, I'm gonna pass it over the line on the rod, snap it closed, and I'm just gonna let it walk down the line. So that's gonna find the midpoint between the, the bait working down below at 30 feet. So this is gonna line up at, you know, 14, 15, 16 feet deep, and it's just gonna work behind the boat. It's kind of your bonus line. And uh, the only downside to it is, is that fish did pop the clip, he was fighting. When you take it out of the holder and you've got a fish on this one, well, that other, that other bait is, is down there another 15 feet. So you got a real fast, because this, this, uh, this snap has to go all the way down the line and come up against that bead at the snap swivel, then you're tight to the fish, then you can fight them. It works, you just gotta remember when it pops real fast. So let me drop this down in the downrigger and then I'll show you how to put this on and deploy it. Okay guys, so this rod is now in the downrigger. It's down 30 feet deep, that pinhead's working back there. So I'm gonna pull a little bit of slack like that because I want to get to the tip of the rod and uh, I'm going to grab my main line right here and let me get this bait it's a little wonky because I'm trying to do this for the camera this is the line with that with that trigger minnow on it right there okay so you want to keep it straight so I'm going to drop that down take your snap just put it over the line on your on your rod that's already working just like so just like this okay now here's the key though when you put this in the water, you gotta kind of work it down, you know, so it, it lays out. So kind of watch it. You don't want to gob up on your main line, but what I'm gonna end up with is this is gonna be working down at 15 feet, probably about 20 feet behind the boat. So let me, let me ease that down. I, it's starting to go in the water, so I kind of steer the line around it. There it is, right there. The action disc has caught the, the current. Now I'm just gonna put this in the rod holder, just like I would, you know, with any downrigger line. Now, he explain to you how this works because we explain this on the boat a lot you kind of got to use your imagination to visualize this i got the the line going from the rod tip down to the downrigger clip but because we're moving forward the water pressure is making that line bow out or you know it's shaped like a hunter's bow or however you want to put it that line is bowed out so that line that i hooked on my main line just now with the trigger minnow on in it it's going to walk down that line until it reaches the center point of that bow, which is gonna be about halfway down. So if you're down 30 feet, that bait's working at 15. If you're down 100 feet, that bait's working at 50. Um, it works great if you wanna run two trout baits. Another situation where it works really well, let's say we're out at 
New Maloney's or somewhere. We're fishing for kokanee. The kokanee are 80 feet deep. They're always the deepest fish in the water column. So we got a kokanee bait working down there, maybe a, a blade and a spinner, whatever. Um, but we want to maybe catch some rainbows. We think there's some rainbows down. So we're down 80 feet on the kokanee. Maybe there's some rainbows down at 40. We can run a spoon. We can even run a small, like a, um, a mini willow leaf and a worm, whatever. Run it on that dropper, run it down the line. You double your chances of catching fish. So just something to think about, a little bit upper level tactic when you're out trolling with your downriggers at one of our big reservoirs like Folsom, Shasta, New Maloney's, whatever. Um, I'm Cal Kellogg, I'm out of here for now. If you're looking for any of the baits I just talked about, including those trigger minnows, which are an absolutely deadly pond smelt imitation, um, get on over to our website at fishhuntshoot.com. Um, there you can pick up all those baits, my beautiful downrigger rods, my lead core rods, reels, more stuff like that. I'll catch you next time right here on YouTube, guys. Thanks for watching.